Yeah, so here we have it. Uh, this is an uh, electric Volkswagen Golf City Strummer. It was built electric from the factory. And what I have done here is that I have changed the drivetrain out to a more modern one. And it is coming from a Nissan Leaf 2014. I have done some upgrades on the inverter and stuff. And I also use a 40 kilowatt hour BMS together with the, uh, the modules from a Volkswagen ID3 here. So I have eight uh, 12S modules in the trunk and also under the back seat or where the back seat used to be. And uh, well, it is working, but I really would like to try that 62 kilowatt hour BMS out because it uh, is uh, cutting off the power a little early to me. Uh, I hope I will uh, reach one of those 62 kilowatt hours BMS for, for next summer. So to the question here, how am I going to store this car or prepare the car for the winter? Uh, yeah, I am not going to drive it because we have a lot of salt and the weather here in the, in the middle of Sweden is pretty much... Uh, well, it's not good for a classic car, let's leave it like that, because I would like to have it in this condition uh, for many years. So therefore I will not drive it in the winter time and uh, the problem here is the battery of course. When you're not going to use your car for a long period of time uh, there might be a risk that your battery will be too low actually. The system in the car will always check the state of charge of the 12 volt battery and if that state of charge is getting on the lower end, then the CAN bus in the system will wake up and the high voltage battery will start to charge the 12 volt battery. Via a DC DC converter, of course, you will not put 400 volts directly on the 12 volt battery. I really hope that you understand that. So the car wakes up and it starts to charge the 12 volt battery. And let's now say that it is doing that uh, multiple times, maybe 10 times or something, uh, during one winter, of course. Uh, first of all, that maybe will indicate that your battery is not good. But how much energy have we lost there from the high voltage battery? Uh, probably not so much at all, but at least a few kilowatt hours have now left the high voltage battery and into the 12 volt battery. So uh, it's really important to not leave the car discharged during the winter or for a long term here. And uh, you don't want to have it charged up to 100% either because even that is not good. So where should it be at? Well, you probably have guessed it, but around 80% is pretty much the maximum state of charge that you will have on your battery when you plan to store it for a longer time. And uh, the best thing you can do is to look at the specification of the cells that you are using and look for the nominal voltage. Because the nominal voltage is pretty much in the middle of the capacity or state of charge. So uh, in my case, I, uh, I think it was 3.7 or 3.69 or something volts per cell. And if we now multiply that with the amount of cells in total, we will have around 360 volts or something. I don't know, I have to calculate that for you. But anyhow, check for the voltage. It's not so important if you just can check your cell voltages. But anyhow, let's look at the nominal voltage to your cells and try to short the car up to that nominal cell voltage and then just pull the plug and then disconnect the 12 volt battery. And of course, you should not just leave the car unintended for uh, six months or something. You really need to go there sometime and just check it so everything is okay. Uh, that's, uh, that's not something that you need to do with a fossil car. And uh, to be honest, I'm not really sure if you have to do it on an electric car either, but for your own interest in not changing battery or battery modules, Let's take a look at it so you don't go down too deep. You never know, especially when you have built stuff yourself like I have done here, 
Maybe, maybe it is so that uh, the BMS is still awake uh, thanks to the uh, high voltage battery. I mean, we still have voltage into that control unit or to the BMS that take care of the high voltage battery. So it can be good at least for the first storage uh, after you have built a car to just take a good look and good care of the high voltage battery side. So you don't just kill it because that's just waste both for the environment and of course also for your bank account. So that's how I will do it. I am going to charge my battery up to 3.7 volts per cell and then I am simply just going to pull the plug and disconnect the 12 volt battery. And then, I mean, I live near the car here so I can go out whenever I want to just check the voltage uh, of the battery. But uh, this is for you guys if you are uh, leaving your car in a storage where you can't reach it so easy. Just do it like this. So anyhow, I am going to do it and then I will go out uh, once every month and just check the voltage. I will be here a little often, but I will not check the car every time I am here. So disconnect the 12 volt battery and then I will cover up the car. That's pretty much it. So let's now take a look at the high voltage battery cell voltage if we now need to charge anything. Or maybe we have to discharge. Okay, so I will first put on the ignition, of course. And then we are going to open up the leaf spy and check for the, the cell voltages. And if we now take a look at the cells here, you can see that we have all the 96 cells. And the delta between the cells are only 12 millivolts, so it's super good. And the voltage is just under 3.7 volts, so... 3.68 volts. I mean, that's uh, just fantastic. So I am pretty much just going to leave the car like this and um, uh, disconnect the 12 volt battery. And by the way, we can also see the temperature at the moment. It's uh, just 10 and a half degrees. So uh, it's perfectly fine to charge it, but I am not going to heat the car here. So it might be so that the cells will uh, be on the negative side, but I don't plan to charge the battery during that temper temperature anyway. All right, let's disconnect the 12 volt battery. And we should now be good to go here. So that is how I am going to store the car for this winter. Thank you so much guys for watching. Hope you find this a little bit interesting. And I really hope I see you next time. Take care. Goodbye.